All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. The spirit intercedes for you as well. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciative and take it one day at a time. Most definitely let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another day to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. God us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son who died for our sins. There's so much things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures forever. Amen. So always worship him. Always keep him first. Always thank him. Praise him. Always trust him in everything you got going on in your life. Amen. Most definitely welcome everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other, intercede for one another, comfort each other, support each other. All those great, awesome, amazing things. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let's be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and mysteries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the fellowship, and the services. Much love to all the previous martyrs, the current martyrs, and the future martyrs, the brave, bold, isolated, courageous believers who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for their faith, who are going through many tribulations for his name's sake. Stay strong, steadfast, encouraged, and firm. We are with you always, forever. Much love to the great tribulation of saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted in Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the brand new converts out there, all the brand new creatures of Christ out there, all the brand new believers out there, most definitely. Anyone who has dreams, visions, encounters, or testimonies, God bless you as well. Anyone who has uh, a testimony, just something to share. You know, it's always good to hear people's testimonies and experiences, you know, so much love to all you people out there with a brand new life in the Lord, you know, anyone who just repented, God bless you. Anyone who just got baptized, God bless you. Anyone who has a brand new beginning and fresh start in your life, God bless you as well, for sure. Anybody who did not repent and get baptized, go repent and get baptized ASAP immediately. Most definitely. Shalom, family, greetings to all of you. Welcome, everybody. Greetings, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all kinds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains, the insects. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High, sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise Him. Rejoice, always rejoice. Make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound, cry out to Him, dance, express yourself, play an instrument. Do what you have to do for the Most High. He is always watching us, so always serve, us, always serve Him with gladness and joy. Amen. Always worship in spirit and truth. Hallelujah. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives till the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night in the twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. So let us be alert, sober, vigilant, watchful, prayed up, washed by the water, by the word, the washing of the water through the word. Let us keep our lamp and oil. Let us stand our purpose of call for the Most High God. Let us know the Lord better. Let us get more close to him. Let us seek his face. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statute, commandments. Let us obey all of God's word. Anything the Most High has told us personally according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situation, our gifts, our talents, our circumstances. Handle it, people. Keep it all together for the Most High. Keep the faith. Keep the word of God. Keep the testimony of the Messiah. Keep the gospel. Keep the law, statute, commandments, decrees, precepts, ordinances, covenants, judgments, charges, promises, everything. Write a copy of the Torah from Genesis all the way through Deuteronomy. Everything, line upon line, precept upon precept. Write a copy of the law, statute, commandments, and keep it. Amen. 
Most definitely. Let's keep spreading the gospel. Keep helping people on our path as well. Amen. For sure. All right. So today's message, what I will do is go through today's daily devotional. And then from there, I will close out with a prayer. I will close out with a priestly blessing. I will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. All right. Let's go through with this daily devotional. Your daily prayer is based around Second Kings chapter 23, verse 24. Okay, quote, true worship requires both a transformed heart and actions. All right, today's devotional focuses on Josiah. After reading the Torah, the scroll of God, to the people, cried out to God, and led the nation in making a covenant to him, he took radical steps to eradicate idolatry, including banishing the priests of Baal and tearing down high places in the forces. The scripture and like unto him was there no king before him that turned to the Lord with all his heart and with all his soul and with all his might according to all the law of Moses neither after him arose there any like him second Kings chapter 23 verse 25 what does true dedication to God look like in a world filled with distractions and temptations King Josiah's life offers a compelling answer after reading the scroll of God to the people Josiah was moved to, to lead them in a renewed covenant with God how often do we let the word of God penetrate our hearts to the point of transfer, transformative action Josiah's commitment didn't stop at mere words mere words he ordered the banishment of any remaining priests of Baal and personally oversaw the destruction of high places of, Id of idol worship this wasn't just a superficial cleanup but a deep one Thorough purging of idolatry from Judah. What idols in your life need to be torn down to make room for God? In a significant move to restore the people's spiritual heritage, Josiah reinstated the Passover. This sacred observance reminded the people of their freedom in God and their identity as his chosen people. Yet, despite Josiah's fervent efforts, many still longed for their corrupt ways. This tension reflects a common struggle, holding on to holding on to past sins, even when we know the truth. What steps can you take to fully embrace the freedom and new life God offers? Josiah's reforms were about more than just removing physical idols. They aimed to transform hearts and minds. He understood that true worship requires both internal and external dedication to God. How can you cultivate a heart of true worship that aligns your actions with your faith? Amen. Reflection. Reflect on areas in your life where you may have allowed idols or distractions to take to take precedence over your relationship with God. What practical steps can you take to remove these obstacles? Consider setting, setting aside dedicated time each day for prayer and Bible reading, allowing God's word to guide your decisions and actions. Seek accountability from trusted friends or mentors to help you stay committed to your spiritual goals. Amen. Scripture again, Second Kings chapter twenty three, verse twenty four. Moreover, the workers with familiar spirits and the wizards and the images and the idols and all the abominations that were spied in the land of Judah and of Jerusalem did, jo did Josiah put away. Amen. Prayer, my Lord, I want to take the time to thank you for guiding me and protecting me in my youth, so that I can get to the place where I am now. As I rest and meditate on your goodness in times past, I remember that you are the reason for the celebration and gratefulness in my life. Through my intentional devotion, I tear down any false idols and ungodly ways of being that may have crept into my life. Anything that I've put over your word, like work, money, relationships, or comfortability that served as an idol, I tear down now. Let your will and ways be the focus of my attention. Let your heart be the focus of my affection. For in your presence is everything I'll ever need. May my legacy be a mirror of King Josiah in today's reading, a legacy known for putting your presence before any before my pleasures. In Jesus' name, amen. All praises to the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem. He is the God of Abraham. He is the God of Isaac and he is the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. He is the God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Jeshurun. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. His only begotten son died for our sins and rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us. Hallelujah. He's the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord. He is the advocate. Hallelujah. Praise him. The almighty, true and living God. Praise the Lord. The Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the blessed and only 
sovereign, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the hair of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai. Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He's the king of kings. Hallelujah. He's the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is holiness, the Lord is my banner, the Lord is my portion, my strength, my rock. Hallelujah, praise him, our helper, our provider, our comforter, our shield, our strength, our buckler, praise him, our salvation, our redeemer. Our strength, our song, our praise, our defense, our safety, our provider. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Ahai, Yesha, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barak, Athal, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai, Yeshaya, Adonai, Abba. He is the consuming fire. He is the father of heavenly lights. He is the father of the fathers, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician, can heal all things, cure all things. He is the carpenter, can fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rested on the seventh day. You can face your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him and show you great mighty things. Search and seek him with all your heart and you will find him. He is a reward to those who seek him diligently. Know that he exists. Believe in him. Trust him. Know he could do for you. Abide in him and abide his word. Ask the Father what you need, what you need in the Son's name. It shall be given to you. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracle signs, wonders, help, comfort, unexpected blessings, unexpected good news, unexpected opportunities in your life. Double portion of blessings. I speak over your life forever. Amen. We know that for the rest of our lives, the outstretched arm of God will be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God will be in our lives forever. The finger of God will be in our lives forever. We honor the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. God is one. Our faith has made us well. Our faith has saved us. Our faith has blessed us. Our faith is how we overcome the world. We walk by faith and not by sight. The just shall live by faith. We're justified by faith in the Messiah. Amen. Praise him. He got us, y'all. Hallelujah. His timing is perfect time and due time and he got us he is the lord of all the lord of glory the lord of lords the man from heaven the man of sorrows the mediator of the new covenant the mediator the messenger of the covenant the messiah the mighty god the mighty one the morning star the nazarene the offspring of david the only begotten son of god our great god and savior our holiness our husband our passover our protection our redemption our righteousness our sacrifice the passover lamb the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the resurrection, the resurrector, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example. The rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd of bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man. Son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. He is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way to the life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counsel, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word of Yahusha, Yahusha, the word of Yahweh Shai, the word made flesh, the living word. Praise him. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debt doors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his counsels upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Shalom. Amen. Selah. Barakathah. I'm Jairus Case. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us write a copy of the Torah. Repent and get baptized. Circumcise your hearts before the Lord our God. Let us be blamed before the Lord our God. Forgive others so that the Heavenly Father can forgive us. The Messiah is the high priest of Order Melchizedek. He is the way everlasting and sinless high priest. Praise him always forevermore. I love you all. Pray for you all. Peace. Shalom.